surrounded by love. Love is who I am. You know, we're two beings. We're this physical being, this thing that we have as a body, and in our spirit, which lives inside of us, is a being. I could sit here and talk for a year about the, the things that I've seen spirit accomplish and do. And from my experience, it's all emotional. You know, any sickness, whether it's due to an accident or virus, is all emotional base. It's just finding that key to unlock the door. Because we forget who we are. We are so much more than this thing we call a body. And we can accomplish so much more if we can just get our ego out of the way and allow the spirit to work with us. I look at our past, I know in my own way, that's in another lifetime. If it happened yesterday, it's in another lifetime. I can't go back and change it, but I can change how I look at it. And whether I hold it here in my ego or I bring it down into my heart, and forgive and love. I want to think with my heart. I want to come from a place of love. I have a philosophy. I have no expectations of tomorrow. And I really don't care what's going to happen tomorrow. And I really don't care what has happened in the past. That way, I'm free. Sometimes it takes us a while to be able to work through that, to realize that all we need to do in life is simply show up and enjoy life. And that's hard for most of us because we always like to be in control. There's really nothing impossible to do. It's just removing that negativity that says, I can't. Our emotional body puts us in harm's way. It uses these bad foods, toxic poisoning, and it puts us in harm's way to get our attention to create a sickness or an accident or something inside of us, to get our attention to change how we look at life, how we conduct ourselves in life in the moment. So if you, if you can resolve the emotional issues in your body to let go of your fears, to let go of your anger and your judgment, and most of all, your insecurities, your emotional body is not going to put you into harm's way. And my friends, who are you? You are all created in the image of the one that created all of life. And all that knowledge and wisdom lives with inside of you. You have to remove the negativity so you can recognize that. When you judge yourself, I know you all don't judge anybody else, But when you judge yourself in that very moment, you are telling the Creator, guess what? I know you've created all of life. You've created us. You've created the universe and the worlds. But I know better than you. Do we? We really don't. And people just show up in life. Enjoy. Open your heart up. Just look at it this way. When you enjoy life, your heart opens up. So instead of this little organ right here, 
that the Holy Spirit has to channel its love and light through. It becomes a fire hose. It's huge. And just show up. Enjoy. Go forth with joy. Reach for your star. I gave you power to create. That's who you are. You're a part of all I am. And so you only have to choose. A prayer you say in gratitude must surely come to you.